this video is a uh, continuation of uh, part 7 and so um, in order to understand this uh, video you have to watch part 7 first and uh, in part 7 we did not claim uh, because the video was too long and so we did not claim uh, qualified business income deduction and so in this video we will uh, claim qualified business income deduction in form 8995. This is the uh, form 1040 in part uh, 7. And so on uh, line uh, 13 here, which is the uh, business income qualified business income deduction form 8995. And we did not claim it here because the video in part 7 was just too long. Uh, 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 for part 7, uh, the example was uh, the YouTuber job, and so uh, YouTubers are considered sole proprietors, and so therefore we can claim the uh, uh, qualified business income deduction. Uh, and so what is qualified business income deduction? It was part of the uh, Jobs Act of 2017, and then uh, business in uh, qualified business income a deduction or QBI deduction, we can use it to reduce the business income up to uh, 20%. And then the uh, QBI deduction is scheduled to expire next year, which is 2025, without changes from uh, Congress. And so how do we uh, calculate the qualified business income deduction? So first, we have to calculate two things. First, we need to calculate the qualified business income and then we also need to calculate the ordinary uh, taxable income. So what's, uh, what's considered uh, qualified business income? It'd be the business income, and then you reduce it by the following. One half of the self-employment tax, and then uh, you also reduce it, uh, reduce it by the contributions of silver, uh, that a self-employed person makes to a retirement plan. And then uh, if the self-employed person pays any uh, premiums towards health insurance, uh, then that also needs to be deducted. And so in this case, uh, let's go back to Schedule C and Schedule SE so we can see the business income and also the uh, self-employment tax. So this is in Port 7. We have this Schedule C and then the uh, business income was $7,250. And then uh, whenever we fill out Schedule C, then we have to also fill out Schedule SE to cal calculate the self-employment tax. And so for this case, the self-employment tax was 1024 and then half of it would be 512 So half of the self-employment tax is uh, 512 so that's what we need to calculate the uh, qualified business income. And so it would be 7,250 minus the 500, uh, minus 512, the uh, half of the self-employment tax. And that uh, gives us $6,738. And then now take 20% of 6,738. So it would be 0 0.20 times 6,738 and that will be 1,348 and so that's what qualified business income is and then now we also need to calculate the uh, ordinary taxable income and then before we do that let, let's go back uh, let, let's just continue on the ordinary taxable income is be the adjusted gross income, which is line 11 of Form 1040, and then minus any capital gains, capital gains like uh, trading stocks, buying and selling stocks, and then we also need to subtract the, uh, uh, the standard deduction or the itemized deduction. So let's go back to uh, Form 1040 to get these uh, numbers. So this is Form 1040. The adjusted gross income, which is line 11, in this case is 1738 uh, And then capital gains, which is line 7, so there's nothing here. 
and then the standard deduction, which is line 12, is 27,700. And so the ordinary taxable income will be the 1,131,738 minus the standard deduction of 27,700, and that will give us 74,038. And then now take 20% of this, or 0 0.20 times 74,038 and that will be 14,808 and so this is the 20% uh, of the taxable income. The QBI or the Qualified Business Income Deduction would be the smaller of the two. So in this case uh, we, we compare 1,348 with 14,808 then the smaller will be 1,348. So this will be the qualified business income deduction. And then the, the other thing to keep in mind about uh, qualified business income deduction is this. Uh, the uh, QBI deduction is general, uh, is uh, normally is available for uh, business owners with total taxable income below 182,100 for single filers and then uh, 364,200 for Mary filing, uh, uh, file, uh, filing jointly. And then, uh, if the, uh, for example, in this case, we have a, a couple here filing Mary uh, jointly. If their income is above, uh, taxable income is above 364,200, then the QBI deduction will be less than 10%. And now to claim uh, the QBI deduction, we have to complete Form 8895. Form uh, 8995. And uh, this is Form 8995. Uh, if we want to claim uh, Qualified Business Income Deduction, then we have to complete Form 8995. And so first put in the uh, business name, name, and then the social security number, and then this is where we would input the uh, qualified business income. And we have just calculated this uh, number, which is 6738 30, And so if we uh, have other businesses, then we would fill it in here. And then in this case, it's just the YouTube uh, business. And then the line two here, it's just to add everything here in column C. And so we get $6,738. Now, if this were to be a loss, then next year, uh, next year's return, we, we would input that in uh, line three here. But for this uh, tax situation, we don't have anything from last year, and so line three is just zero. And then line four, just combining line two and line three, so we have 6738 and then take 20% of this, or 0 0.20 times 6,738, we get 1,348. And uh, for this case, there's no qualify or EIT uh, dividends or loss carry forward or anything. So line 6, 7 be 0. So line 8 be 0. Line 9 will be 0. And then line 10, it is combining line 5 and line 9. So we have 1,348. And then line 11 is where we would input the ordinary taxable income. And we calculated it earlier, and uh, that amount is 74,038. And then uh, no capital gains here. And so 74,000. And then uh, no net capital gain here. And then uh, uh, line 13, it just uh, subtract line 12 from line 11, so there'll be 74,038. And then take 20% of this, or 0 0.20 times 74,038, and we have 14,808. And then line 15 is uh, just the smaller of line uh, 10 or line 14. So the smaller will be 1,348. And then uh, put 1617 as for any loss that will be carried forward uh, to next year. 
And so line 16, we just combine line 2 and line 3. Line 2 and line 3, if we combine these two lines, it is 6,738. It says here, if greater than 0, then enter 0. And then line 6 and line 7, combine line 6, line 7, we have 0. So, uh, now let's go back to line 15. So, this is the uh, qualified uh, business income deduction. So, what we do is we take this number and go to form 1040 and then enter it on line uh, 13. And so, this is the uh, form 1040 that was completed in part 7. And once again, in part 7, we did not claim uh, qualified business income deduction. So that's why it's zero. But here we will claim it. And so now let's go ahead. And so on line uh, 13 here, we would input the qualified business income. So it's going to be 1,348. And then we'll change lines uh, 14 and 15. So line uh, 14, just combining line 12 and line 13. So it'll be 29,048. And then line 15 is the taxable income, so it would be 101,738 minus 29,048, and that will be uh, 72,690. So this is the taxable income. Now we looked up on the tax table, uh, we uh, 8,281, and then nothing from Schedule 2. So line 18 will be 8,281. Uh, 8, and then line 19, nothing. Line 20, nothing. So line 21 will be zero. And then uh, line 22 will be just uh, li subtract line 21 from line 18. And we'll, we have 8,281. And then uh, line uh, 23 is the self-employment tax. And so uh, back in uh, video uh, part 7, we calculated the self-employment tax and that came out to be 1,024. And so for this uh, tax situation, the total tax would be 8,281 plus 1,024. And that would be 90,305. And so also in uh, video part 7, if we look back, we saw that the W-2 had a federal income tax withheld of $9,000. So in a summary, for this tax situation, the total tax is $9,305. Uh, the uh, income tax withheld is $9,000. So it means that this couple owes the IRS $305. So uh, the, this is the end of the video, and that's how we would uh, claim the uh, qualified business income in Form 8995.